Mwah. Mama can be heaven. We gave them water, we gave them food, everything. Bernard is in the beginning very scared and now he's coming, yes. Hello, what's that? Who's that? It's really interesting because I just asked Sarah about transportation to... Uh, <laughs> Hello. Yes, it's so interesting. If a dog gets adopted, how they get from here to their new home, um, about the transportation and stuff. Because I had this uh, image in my head of a lot of dogs in one small place, barking, shitting everywhere, <laughs> you know, like that. But um, she makes sure that transportation goes really, really well. And she has been on the transportation herself a few times. And there's only a maximum of 20 dogs. dogs uh, have timetables, they get out for walks every few hours, there's temperature control, uh, they get to spend some time outside, uh, which is really, really good. Hello. So I was first thinking like, oh, how does it go? But now I'm glad I asked because I think the transportation, because they're used to this environment, of course, uh, will be actually fine for them. And um, yeah, it's good to know for the future, you know? If I ever want to adopt a dog, I will definitely do it from here, for sure. And yeah, who knows? I mean, how the dogs are being treated, it's really nice. They have plenty of space to walk, they get sometimes out on walks, uh, they get good food, they are used to a lot of people, they are used to a lot of dogs, they are used to a lot of sound. Um, they can walk, they, can, they don't, they shit, they do their stuff in a, in a specific place and not just everywhere. They like to play, they're very social, most of them, and some aren't, but I mean, uh, it's okay. Uh, you need to let a dog be how the dog wants to be, of course. So actually, uh, yeah, something to keep in mind, you know? Kim, Kim, Kim. I'm back from an amazing day. This morning I had a morning shift with Nicholas. We had an amazing time and afterwards we went out for lunch and we chatted for such a long time, <laughs> too long, uh, but amazing chats. And now I'm just chilling for a while and I thought I still have the one drink left. I tried the grapefruit one in the taste test and in a separate taste test. Uh, I tried the raspberry one earlier and I also bought the lemon flavor 
I showed it like four times now. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to try it. For the people that know Radler, it's like beer with lemon flavor. It, it tastes like this uh, without alcohol, so it's not really like special. It's just normal. In my trip in Bulgaria, I hope to still taste uh, strawberry flavor, but um, yeah, I think I will. <laughs> and I also said bye today to the dog. I said bye and I pet them and I kissed them and yeah and then I left yeah it was amazing tomorrow I'm leaving I'm taking a train from Bansko to somewhere I have no idea how it will go but we'll, we will see I think I have two transfers um, but yeah I'm actually set to leave because I had an amazing time here I'm very comfortable it's in my comfort zone, um, the dogs are amazing, the village is really nice. I'm excited to see uh, what the retreat will bring and what it's a complete new experience for me. I'm very grateful for the time that I've had here and um, I'm going to enjoy my last evening. And you know, I can always come back if I want to, so yeah, who knows. Um, but I just had an amazing time and tomorrow off to a new experience. Conversation 20 years ago. <laughs> you in the lake. Yeah. <laughs> How crazy would that be? Like, I see it happening. Yeah. 